What's up, one and all? This is the Peace Dealer, chest hairing out. You know what it is. Shout out to my fucking fit. Quality threads. If y'all want threads like this, hit them up. My fucking fit, motherfucking fit, M T H A F K N fit. I'm doing this with uh the guns out. So I'm talking about my stalker story. Um, honestly, the headline is just clickbait. I'm not putting anyone on blast, but uh, this is this. What I'm about to talk about right now is the epitome of Venus conjunct. South node conjunct um, Pluto and Saturn. It's over. I feel free. There, there are cycles of, of uh, toxic behaviors and in, in, uh, how we see love uh, ending. For those of you who've been tired of the whole twin flame delusion, it's over. Like, it's over. I just realized this. So let me tell you my story. Because... Um, <clears throat> This isn't, once again, to put who I'm talking about on blast. I know you're going to watch this, too. Um, this is not to put you on blast. Many of you need to hear this. Uh, just just based off of the past few years <coughs> and the rhetoric that's gone on as far as, like, sacred soul connections and, and thinking that someone has a connection with you that they probably don't. So, uh, yeah, a couple of days ago, I kept getting a ring from my gate code um when you drive up to the gate thank god it's gated um you have to actually press a button and uh it will link you to the phone number of the person you open so that they can press a number and let you in thank god i didn't let them in um so someone kept ringing that i thought maybe there was like um some type of error i thought there was something wrong with the gate but someone kept ringing it the first couple of times it was like hello nothing and then someone kept on pressing it so i was like okay maybe it's someone messing with me or maybe it's someone trying to get in and they're just trying to like s d click open many people's numbers until it opens whatever so uh, fast forward to like a couple hours ago and I get this call from a 702 number. So for those of you who are familiar with uh, a certain lady who I got spiritually pregnant, apparently, allegedly, she told me that I got her spiritually pregnant. It was her. Um, she somehow found my number. And... Um, First, I asked her, how'd you get my number? And she said that she actually got it from a gate code. Because when you look up the directory of who lives in the apartment, which she had to probably scroll down, you get to see the number. So that let me know she was the one who kept on ringing the the, uh, the buzzer. And um, yeah, I kind of asked her. Um, why did you do that? You know, what, what's what, what what's your business here, really? Why are you in Vegas? And her sole purpose for being here was to live with me. Um, she has two kids. I could even hear them in the background. She drove her RV from Ohio just so that she could live with me. Um, and she's been doing this for a couple of years. For those of you who remember, uh, I said I was going to go see Turquoise Jeep. Shout out Flint Flossy. I got to go see them in uh, Ninja Karaoke. And I posted it on Facebook. And guess who I saw there? So um, I don't want to say I enabled her behavior. Because when I saw her there, um, for a split instant, I was like, this can't be happening. But, you know, I didn't want to freak out. Um, by the way, I can only imagine how terrifying this is for you ladies. No, you know. Since it was the other way around, I wasn't threatened. In fact, I thought it was a little funny. So I don't want to say I enabled it, but I didn't. I wasn't rude to her. I didn't kick her out. You know, I talked to her. I was like, well, you found me. Uh, and I, I kind of got more insight into what her motivations were and why she was doing this. I chopped it up and I just 
dipped. Like at like midway during the performance, I just kind of ghosted her, and I felt like that would kind of tell her without telling her how I feel instead of just being real and being like, "Hey, this is never gonna work." Like, chill. But um, the e- the constant emails didn't stop because before then, after then, and now. Constant emails didn't stop. At some point, I just sent it to spam. So I just assumed that um, I didn't hear from her anymore, but she was still sending them. And um, yeah, so we were talking. We talked for like a full 45 minutes. And um, she was basically just telling me how like she channels me all the time. She She's convinced that I have feelings for her, that she called me because I told her to call her, just like I got her spiritually pregnant. Uh, apparently she even the leo king had told her that you know she has to call me but she's actually moving to north carolina in like two days so um i don't know why she called but you know she's actually leaving vegas which is good news but um i'm not putting her on blast because i couldn't stop thinking how what she was going through is so similar to what a lot of people have been going through i've been counseling a lot of clients who cannot shake a feeling they have to somebody. I didn't judge this woman. And I think this is why it's so hard for people to open up about this stuff because they don't want to be called lame. They don't want to be called weird. They don't want to be judged. Everything that she was saying, I couldn't stop thinking about how I was projecting my own desire towards women I barely even knew. So I just saw it as karma. We will have Cat Moon. She's a Pisces son. Um, so I already know, like, she has no touch of reality. So when she's saying, when she's saying all sorts of stuff, like, she channeled for me that I hate her because she married somebody, uh, already and, and that, you know, I've been telling her all sorts of stuff, even though on the phone, I'm like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call the cops on someone like that because someone like that needs help. That's the only reason why I'm making this video, just to kind of address the mental health issues going on that she exhibited and even I myself exhibited, which I want to get to, because um, this really flipped a switch in me. <coughs> I promise you, all, my voice is not getting choky. But yeah, this this triggered a, a powerful switch in me. And it basically just reminded me because I had already accepted in my case, my experience uh, and, and what I had to go through, um, her kind of, you know, I understood her deeply when she, um, this, this lady who called, uh, trying to move in with me deeply when she's saying that she can't shake that feeling away from me. It would have been easy for me to be like, Oh, please get over it. But I mean, for the past three, four years, I have to this day cannot shake this incredibly powerful connection that I have with a certain somebody. And when I initially try to reach out to her, I was in her inboxes. This is a Capricorn Sun lady. I was in her inbox talking about, hey, I mean, I, thankfully, you know, I, I know I know the game is a lot stricter for men. And I've never been the type to stalk somebody in the fashion I was kind of stalked. Like, I don't harass people. Um, I remember in the case with this Capricorn woman, I was writing paragraphs in her inbox. She had politely told me, hey, stop doing that. And I kept on writing her, hoping that when, you know, maybe this message will be the one that would at least talk. Because I wasn't trying to move in with her. I wasn't as crazy as the Pisces was being to me. I was just trying to establish contact. Like, hey, can I read your chart? Hey, can we talk? I want to explain these feelings. So that's another reason why I felt the need to talk to this Pisces lady. Because whereas I never had that closure with her, I wanted to at least let it be clear. Do I need closure from that Capricorn woman? No, no. She told me from the get go. Um, she kind of showed me without showing me that she wasn't interested. I should have taken the sign then and uh, could have saved myself embarrassment. But I understand what she was going through, just like I understand what many of you are going through when you just feel this inexplicable connection to somebody that it just makes it so hard to to differentiate what's fact and fiction uh because you know emotions are irrational but yeah so as she's telling me this like she feels a strong connection she's channeling me which i'm not gonna lie we both have capricorn moons she's a pisces i don't deny that what she feels for me is genuine 
that was what was so real about the conversation. What that taught me, though, was that just because she feels it that intensely, I didn't feel anything on my end. Even stuff that I would feel for other people, she picked up because Pisces are magical like that. So, you know, um, this video goes out to some of you Pisces because it's really I know some of you are terrified about opening up about how you feel because you don't want something like this to happen to you. And it's too convenient to just call this a mental illness. Even today, I saw a synchronicity concerning this same cap woman that um, has blocked me because, you know, I embarrassed myself. I didn't. That, it, it was this is the same person I brought up with the, the peace talk with Sharon Andrea, which she was saying to just surrender to the connection and not be so fixated on the physical. That was this conversation that I just had with this Pisces woman who just doesn't seem to get it, which I understand because Neptune is on the Pisces sun. It's y'all don't have any touch with reality right now. <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, not all of you, but it is what it is. The purpose of this video isn't to shame her. All right. Some of you are going to be like, get a restraining order against her. Screw her. I think she needs help. Um, I, that's why I held space. I could have just ignored her. I could have just been like, screw you, bitch. But nah, I think. I, I wanted to hold space. I wanted to share that moment just so I could at least show myself how weird I looked when I was trying to convince myself I was meant to be with someone that I never even met in person, but just felt that I was meant to be, which really exposed a, a toxic pattern and habit of how I approach love and relationships. Thank God Venus is on the South Node on Pluto and Saturn, so I can at least like, expose myself in this way. Um, I doubt this Capricorn lady will ever watch this video, but hey, if you are, I apologize for uh, writing paragraphs to you in uh, your DMs. Not that you'd probably care, but I mean, I'm, I'm grateful personally because I got out of it what I wanted and needed out of it. I learned um, the power of my heart. I learned how powerful my emotions are. I learned how I've been suppressing my feelings, which I think was the true purpose. And, you know, for those of you, I'm, I'm specifically making this video for those of you who can't get over somebody who really feel like you have this special secret connection and oh, maybe they just don't get it yet. Maybe they just don't get it yet. There's a thin line between soul connections and harassment, my friends. Trust me. Um, I didn't, I wasn't thrilled to know that somebody who I had repeatedly told in person and online to leave me alone, uh, found out where I lived and try to come in my gate, got my number and called me. Um, once again, I'm not really threatened by that, but I can only imagine how some of you women feel who get sexually harassed or stalked. I've never been a stalker. I've never been a sexual harasser, but I still identify with this Pisces lady because I've been projecting vibes on a certain person that has expressed they're not interested in me and I just still lied to myself and made myself believe that we were meant to be so I really just saw that as a somber reflection of, of what it looks like thankfully I didn't I didn't I didn't stalk this woman um I would say the worst I've done was just constantly send her messages which is still a mild form of harassment that i'm not proud of and i'm glad i could share this with y'all but you know thankfully you know I, I didn't get myself a restraining order because i got so deeply in my feelings but yeah um i can tell you from experience this cycle is ending for those of you who are caught in this this shit is real y'all like this is the weirdest thing about it. Like you feel this inexplicable, unexplainable, deep connection, especially if you're a 12 house or a Piscean, you have Neptune on your sun or moon. Um, you hear pressure, you know, from people expecting you to be a certain way, but don't want to deeply understand what you're going through 
Um, people will say you're mentally ill, but whereas they should support you since they think you're sick, they're just throwing you under the bus and making fun of you. So there's no support. It doesn't encourage anyone to go to therapy. It doesn't encourage anyone to go out there and really speak about what they're going through. I think I'm one of the few people who open up my platform. So people, there are people who I'm the only one they feel comfortable talking about this stuff too, because I don't judge. I've gone through it too. So it is what it is for those of you who are feeling that don't you're not crazy i still maintain it you're not crazy you're not delusional just really find more practical ways to ground this and um stop the projection and the projection all right saturn was squared neptune we we all had to go through this i know a lot the trust me when i say a lot more people go through this than you think everybody has that one person they wish they were married to that's off limits we all want what that we can't have people just have better ways of hiding it or managing it than others mutable signs don't care fixed signs are reserved cardinal signs care about their image so keep that in mind um I'm so grateful this happened because that just flipped the switch in me. Um, I'm Cat Moon, so I have Pluto on my moon right now, Saturn, all this stress. Please don't think that I'm depressed. I'm just processing this. This was I never, ever, ever, ever thought that I would be grateful that a stalker called me. And I'm, I'm she's not just a stalker, but I don't want to reveal her name. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. I'll change my number. But other than that. If any of you are being genuinely harassed, uh, you need to take it to that next level. Do so. Don't wait for something dangerous to happen. And, uh, yeah, be very mindful of this twin flame journey or this sacred partner journey. This doesn't make me believe any less in the sacred partners. It just puts me in check in how I've allowed my toxic behavior to uh, project on other people. And, you know, I think I manifested somebody to show me how it looks so that I could stop being lame. But other than that, you know, it is what it is. Once again, I deeply feel like some of you are going to resonate with this because there's somebody who you don't know why you feel a certain way. Let me tell you, those feelings are real. Those feelings are genuine. They may not feel that at all the way you feel that they may not even be thinking about you. So if you're still waiting for something to change, move on with your life. Just like this woman is moving back to North Carolina because the weather is cold and her children don't need to go through what she's been projecting. And it's crazy because I don't think she even realizes the severity of what she's doing because she's just <laughs> so it is what it is. I don't say that to put her down because I was there too. I, I fully understood what she was going through. Um, even though she still thinks I got her spiritually pregnant, but that's a whole nother video for another time. Maybe I did. Maybe the peace dealer just got that spiritual juice. Cause I know just like she feels that for me, some others do, but they, they know boundaries. Okay. It is what it is. I'm not here to shame anyone who feels this. Um, because there's some deeper spiritual dynamics. There are familiar spirits. There's deceiver spirits. We Sometimes we lie to ourselves. So uh, just, just tread lightly when it comes to this path. And I'm glad I could share this experience. Shoot me some positive vibes, y'all. I'm going through it. I'm definitely just fighting to gain back motivation, even though the next step is clear and I just have to do it. It's, it's not the same if you don't feel it. And I, I don't think anyone who's not a cat moon would really understand or a cancer moon because this transit is retarded. But other than that, y'all stay blessed. And until next video.